All right, welcome to lesson three. So in lesson one and two, we set up member stack. So now we get to do all the fun stuff and start connecting all the pieces together. So in this lesson, we're gonna be setting up a member collection inside of Webflow. And then when a new member signs up in member stack, we're going to use Zapier to send that over to Webflow to create a collection item. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is go to Webflow and we're gonna create a new collection. Uh, this is gonna be called members. And then inside of this collection, I basically want to have everything that we collect on sign up. I wanna add the first name, the last name, and the email. Obviously you don't wanna store a password. I don't think you would even have access to that actually. That's all handled through member stack, so you don't need to worry, worry about that. So let's go ahead and add first name, as a regular text field, do the same for last name, and then do an email field for the email address. Okay, so go ahead and create the collection. All right, so what we wanna do now is set up Zapier. So if you go to zapier.com, if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so to get Zapier to work with MemberStack, what you need to do is go to MemberStack, go to Power Ups and Power Ups or no, sorry, power-ups and integrations. Go ahead and click on Zapier. And what you're gonna need to do is click on this invite link. Um, after you've signed up, click on the invite link and you'll be able to add MemberStack to your Zapier account. MemberStack is still currently in beta with Zapier. It still works correctly. I believe they just are in beta until they get a certain amount of users. But anyway, go ahead and click accept and invite and then go back and what you need to do is reveal your API key. And then this is how you're gonna connect uh, Zapier to member stack. So go ahead and make a new Zap and search for member stack. And it's gonna be 1.2.0. And then what you wanna do is new member is gonna be the trigger. So when a new member is created, we want to send that member over to Webflow and then send it back to member stack. All right, so next up, you'll choose your account. If you don't already have this set up, go ahead and click new account and then add your API key here. I already have this set up for this demo. So I'm gonna click that. And then what you wanna do is click test and review. What that does is it checks member stack and then pulls in the data. So you wanna make sure you have a member um, in member stack already. Uh, before you do this or else Zapier won't have anything to work with. Okay, so you can see it has the email, test at test.com, the first name, the last name, etc. So this is good to go. All right, next up, we want to uh, send this back to Webflow. So go to Webflow or type in Webflow and uh, the event or the action we want to take is create live item. Make sure you don't cr select create item because that will require you to publish your site in order for this to go live. You want it to go live automatically. So again, be sure to click create live item and then click continue. If you don't already have your account set up, you'll need to add an account. And then your API key is in your project settings. If you go to integrations under API access, you can generate your token right there. I've already set this up, so I'm gonna skip all that, but that's how you go about it. So the site I am doing is the no code membership demo. And then the collection we want is the members. Okay, so this is where we're gonna tell Zapier to update the various um, items in the collection. So remember we have first name, last name, and email. So we want to tell Zapier what the first name is, what the last name is, and what the email is. First name we're going to pull from member stack. So profile first name, same for last name, and same for email address. And then uh, the name and the slug, we need to define both of those as well. So for the name, I'm just going to do first name, space, and then last name. And for the slug, what I wanna do is set that as the ID of the member in member stack. So that way, when we go to set up a unique dashboard for our members, uh, we can be sure that it, it's a unique ID. Because if we set it to like their name or their email address, for example, somebody could potentially change their email address or change their name, and that could potentially break everything. So if you set it to the ID, you know it's unique, you know it's not gonna change, and you're good to go. All right, then the archived, uh, you don't want it to be archived and you don't want it to be set as a draft. You want it to go live right away. So click no for both those. And then go ahead and test and review. 
let's see, collection not found. This usually happens when a field, oh, duh. Okay, so I created this collection, but I didn't publish the site. <laughs> so be sure to go ahead and publish your site first. There we go. All right, review and test again. Okay, so now if we go back, let's refresh the site, go to our members, and we have our very first member in Webflow. The ID is set to the ID from member stack, and then the first name, last name, and email are all set. So what we wanna do next is you can see right here, item ID. So this is the ID for this collection item in the members collection. So we wanna send this ID back to member stack so it gets stored in, if we go to members, so I get stored in uh, this field right here. And we need this for the mark as complete functionality later. So let's go back to Zapier and we're gonna add one more. Click done editing, whoops. Go back to setup, add one more. So we're gonna go back to member stack and the action we wanna do is update the member and select the uh, no code membership demo. Okay, so the member ID, we can pull from this first one, uh, the ID right here. And then we don't need to update the email or first name or last name. Uh, we just wanna update Webflow member ID, which is the item ID from the CMS collection. And we get access to that when we create the live item. So if you scroll down, you can see CID, that's the collection ID for the whole members collection and then the ID itself. So that's what you wanna pass back. So go ahead and click continue and then test and review. Okay, so it was sent back to member stack. And if we go back and check, perfect. And you can just double check last four are D047 and then in this item ID, D047. So that is all good to go all set up correctly. So last step, let's just uh, confirm that this works. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And then I'm gonna log out and try to sign up. So I'm gonna say Chico Pico, Chico's the name of my cat, Chico at example.com and enter a password, confirm and pay. Okay, so let's, uh confirm that this works. We can go over here to task history. All right, so we didn't name our zap. We need to make sure to do that. But that said it was successful. Let's go back to member stack, refresh. All right, so we're seeing it here. And we also have the Webflow member ID, which means if we go back to Webflow and refresh, Chico Pico is already set up. So everything works correctly. Perfect. So in the next lesson, we're gonna set up Airtable. <laughs>